What's going on everybody? David here, back with another video. All right, so I wanna do a quick video and I want to focus on Neil Kashkari. So Neil Kashkari, he is the head of the Federal Reserve in Minneapolis. And he's been pretty outspoken when it comes to we need another stimulus package. Him, Jerome Powell, the, the Fed chair, they've both come out and said, we need, we need assistance. And so I want to play this clip. It's a small little clip. And then we will talk about it on the other end. But this is going to focus on why, why this is the best time, if any, for us to borrow money if you want to look at it that way. But before we do, if you could do me a favor, please hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. All right, we're going to go ahead and play the clip. So let's go. Congress can do that. And it's it's much cheaper if you can keep people whole on the front end than if you we have these continued layoffs and these continued bankruptcies and to try to rebuild it on the back end. That ends up taking a lot longer. That actually ends up being more expensive for the taxpayers. Well, Senate Republicans continue to argue, though, that that, as you say, making the money available on the front end, though, could potentially be worse for them politically, that there would be a cost at the ballot box. Is there any economic cost, any economic merit to that? Well, right right now, the U.S. government is able to borrow at very, very low rates. And so now is the time uh, if there's a need to run deficits. Now is the time to go ahead and use that government's fiscal capacity to provide the assistance. And so there's no question over the long run, we have to make changes. We have to make some decisions to yeah. get our fiscal house in order to get some balance. But right now is the time to provide assistance. All right. So there you go. There you go. Um, Neil Kashkari is saying now is the time. If any, now is the time because of the, the way you can borrow money. It's, it's, it's a lot less. And so he, he also went on to talk about the front end. So making people whole on the front end and not waiting until they lose their job, because now you have a whole nother problem. They're going to have to get unemployment and, and all this stuff. So if you can stop the problem before it happens by stimulating the economy, that's the way to go because then these people won't lose their job. I mean, we have a lot of people have lost their job already, but you'll have even more people losing their job if we do not stimulate the economy again. And so that's what he's talking about. And that's what the, the, the focus should be. So when you have senators and they mainly I'm talking about the senators right now, because you have some senators that are really, they, they don't want to do anything uh, as far as another stimulus package. When you have senators saying, well, we don't want to spend the money. Well, if you don't spend the money now, it's only going to get worse because then you're going to have all these people who are unemployed that are on unemployment and it's going to put us in a, in a worse hole, a bigger hole, I should say. So that's what he's trying to avoid. And that's what uh, Jerome uh, Powell is trying to avoid too, the Fed chair. And they're trying to let you, let us know, hey, look, we need to wake up. Something needs to happen. We need a stimulus package. Get over this whole political bickering and all that. Get something done because the American people need it. The country needs it in order for us to get back uh, to where we were. And so uh, I, I just wanted to play that just to kind of show you, okay, th these are the professionals when it comes to the economy. And this is what they're saying. So there's one thing you can listen to the professionals or you can listen to the politicians telling you that everything is great and we're in this V recovery. Like Larry Kudlow says, every time he does an interview, we need to listen to the professionals. Just like when it comes to COVID-19, we need to listen to the scientists, the doctors, the, the, the doctors that specialize in that. Uh, we, we can't be listening to politicians and expecting to get an honest, an honest opinion when it comes to situations because they're not giving us the honest opinion. That's, that's the reality. They want to sugarcoat it so it makes them look good. And that's both sides, Democrats and Republicans. But when you're listening to people, that's their job. They're an economist. They're going to tell you for the most part, and you don't just listen to one, but you can listen to a variety of them. They're going to tell you, Hey, this is what we need. Scientists the same way. They're going to tell you, this is, this is what we, what we need. And so uh, we'll have to see where this goes. I'm hoping within this next three weeks, we can see something happening. The negotiations are continuing. So that's good. But when it comes down to it, this is the time, if any, we're in a crisis right now, and this is the best time to borrow. So that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to play that video real quick. And when it comes down to it, I think we need it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the, in, down below. Do we need a stimulus package? Do you believe that the, the whole number that we've been discussing 
Should we just do the 2.2 trillion and stop bickering over, oh, well, 1.8 or 1.6 or 300 billion or 2.2 trillion? Just do the 2.2 trillion. Nancy Pelosi's already said 2.2 trillion. That's where we want to be. So if we get to that point, move forward, get this thing going and not worry about, okay, well, that's too much money. Now is the time to do it. And that's what Neil Kishkar is saying. Now is the time to do it. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.